Hi everybody. In this video today, I would like to show you to quickly show you how to label the data that we collected in the activity classification lab. So what you should have done um, before watching this video is collecting the data with the um, accelerometer where you do some walking, running, standing, and some lying. And you should already have the data file, the text file on your computer at this point. As you can see, I have um, I don't do my videos from the place in order that I usually did. The reason for this is that unfortunately my biceps was too small for Coach Karim and I had to move out. So now I am on a few different places and um, yeah, I can't go back anymore. So to do this video today, I'm gonna share my screen here. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, I'm, and I'm also not alone in the room anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. So um, what I did here was I put my um, the data file into the working directory where we work from today. And we basically don't even have to write any code for this um, because we have the lab four functions. <coughs> that you can download from the GitHub repository. And in this lab four functions, you have um, one function called label data. So um, here, this function basically helps you label the data and saves a CSV file afterwards. And I'm gonna show you now how this works. So first of all, I need to import the library. I can do this all on, on the console today. So import lab four functions as L4F. That takes a while. And then we just want to use this um, function from the lab for functions library. And we can do this by saying now l4f dot label data, the same as the function here. And then it says as an input, it needs a file name. So it basically just needs the file name that we saved here. So just say this here and I say x data.txt and enter. And now it's going to ask you how often did you do activities in between standing? So, in between standing. And since if you did it like um, explained in the protocol, you did um, one time running, another time running, walking, another time walking, and lying. And in between those, um, let's say five different activity times you did standing. So the answer here should be five. Then it opens a window and this here now works um, almost exactly like we, okay, so for one, some weird reason, it did not show the graph um, before while I was explaining it. So when I looked at the video, there was just no graph. So it's really hard to understand what I'm actually saying if you don't see the graph. So um, let's try this again. So what I did before is I ran this, um, the function, I said we had five activities, right? Okay, and then this here is the graph. So here you can see that I was standing, running, standing, running, standing, walking, standing, walking, standing, and then here, this is the lying part, okay? And this is very similar to what we did with um, defining the EMG bursts. So we basically really just have to um, define the running, running, walking, walking, and lying part. So I have to click once to start the algorithm. And then like we did before, um, I just have to click twice to zoom in. Then I click enter. And now I can define the start and the end of the activity. So the start is somewhere here. So that's between standing and starting to run. So I click here once and then I do the same between running and standing again. So that's somewhere here. And then I have to type in which activity it was, which in that case is running. And this is um, case sensitive. So like you really have to write it with capital R and then running. It has to be the exact same for every single member of this class. Um, and then it's the same again. I click once to start, I zoom in, enter, click here for start, click here for end, and I say running again. Same again with the first walking part, enter, I click once here, I click the second one here, I click 
uh, then I have to type in here. In that case, it's walking. Again, it's case sensitive, so the W has to be capital. And then for the second part, for the second walking part, enter um, start and type in walking, enter. And the last part is the lying part here. Zoom in, enter. This here is somewhere in between standing and lying. And this here is somewhere in between lying and standing again. And then we say lying here and enter. And then it creates this graph. And this graph, you basically can see if everything worked out well. So you can see that this here is so what the code does here is everything is, that is not defined as walking, running, or lying will be defined as standing. So now we can see that this here is standing. This part is running. This here is standing, running, standing, walking, standing, walking, standing, lying, and then standing. So you can see that um, it worked out pretty well. What the code now did as well is it creates in your working directory a new folder called label data. And here it will create the file called labeldata.csv. So let's have a look at this file now. If you open this file, what you will see is um, a few columns. The first column is just the number of each data point. The second one is the X acceleration, Y acceleration, Z acceleration. Then this one is the time in milliseconds. And here we have the activity and that's what you typed in. So we have standing in the beginning and if you scroll down, it should then yeah, get running. If you scroll down further, it should be standing and then running, standing, walking and so on, okay? So that's the file that we also have to upload to the server afterwards. So we have to upload this file to, in our case, Canvas for other universities that might be something else, but your um, TA or your professor should tell you where and how to upload it. In our case, we will also change this to um, the label data and then your initials. So in my case, that's PM for Patrick Meyerhofer. Um, and then I can upload it. And there, if there is already a data set, which is called label data PM, because there might be Peter Meyer or whatever, so then I just say PM1 and that's it. So then um, at some point your TA will um, send you or give you the information where to download all the data files from your classmates. And um, afterwards, I'll also record another video where we go into the activity classification. And when you have all the data files in here, um, we want you to have them un, um, named like this here, label data one, label data two, and so on, whereas the first ones are the ones from your own group and the other ones are the ones from the rest of the class. So with the rest of the class, we'll train the algorithm, whereas with the, um, with the group ones, we'll then test the performance of the algorithm. So that's actually it for um, the video today. Um, I just showed you how to label the data because that's um, the next important part. In the next video, we'll then look into how to actually train the algorithm um, to do the activity classification. And for lab four, I'll probably also do another third individual video where we then look into the step counting algorithms in, in algorithm individually as well. I hope that was is as easy as possible and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.